What's good YouTube? We all know how much easier life was at the start of the expansion when we unlocked all of our dragon riding glyphs. And with us venturing off to the Forbidden Reach in 10.0.7, we have access to 8 new glyphs and therefore a few new abilities that we'll have access to when flying around the Dragon Isles. We have access to a total of 3 new passive abilities and 1 new on-use ability once we collect all of our new glyphs. On the left side of the tree we have the new on-use named Aerial Halt, reducing our forward movement and flapping us backwards. This is a handy little ability for if you're going too fast and you're about to miss an entrance or even if you just want to stop in your tracks and land, instead of having to throw your mouse around all sorts of angles until you stop where you please. We then have a passive ability named Airborne Recovery that's going to generate us one bigger point if we use our aerial halt while affected by the Thrill of the Skies passive, otherwise known as when you have the wind animation across your screen while flying at high speeds. So that's it for the left side of the tree for now, so let's have a look at the right side. On the other side we have another passive in ground skimming. When we're dragon riding near the ground we regenerate one vigor every 30 seconds, which doesn't sound like a lot, but if you're flying for long periods this is going to help you generate that extra bit of vigor in conjunction with your other talents to keep you zooming along. Saying that though, this doesn't actually occur while we are affected by the Thrill of the Skies, so think of it as more of a save to generate vigor if you're running out of juice and you need to pick your speed back up. We further buff up our skimming by taking Land's Blessing, which is also going to generate us one vigor every 20 seconds while we're ground skimming. So these two working together means you'll be able to generate a lot of vigor and therefore speed if you're staying close to the ground while dragon riding. Just watch out for those trees. Alright then, now that we know what our new talents do, let's go get our hands on the new glyphs from the Forbidden Reach. These ones are actually relatively easy to find and I found them basically by just circling the zone, though there is one that I just could not find for the life of me so stay tuned for that. Before we begin though I'd recommend getting the add-on TomTom as I'll be giving you guys the exact coordinates of where these glyphs are, as well as showing you where they are on the map just to make sure that you guys don't get lost. Okay, so our first glyph is at the coordinates 4868 in the zone of the Frosted Spine. Most of these glyphs are going to be up high, so be prepared to fly up the mountains, but this one is found just under the G of the old Wean grounds on the map. The next one is found just to the east of where we just were at the coordinates 5965. This is found at the top of the spire at the Talon Lord's Perch. After that, we'll fly even more east to the Storm Sunder Mountains, and you'll find the glyph on the south side of the mountain. The coordinates for this third one is at 7755. The fourth dragon riding glyph we can find north of the previous one on the Dragon Skull Island. The coordinates for this one are 7932. Next in the Froststone Peak we can find the fifth one, just to the right of the Froststone Vault on the map. This glyph is all the way at the top of the tower at coordinate 6232. After this we're going to travel over the Winglord's Perch on the northwest of the Forbidden Reach and you can find this one in the Broken Tower. The coordinates here are 1813. The seventh one is found in another Broken Tower but this time in the Caldera of the Menders. You have to fly into this tower and use an updraft to get out once you've collected the glyph at 3830. And the final glyph is the one I struggled finding the most just because it's so far out. In the southwest of the zone you'll find Talon's Watch Island and here you will also find the last dragon glyph. The coordinates for this one are 2192. And that's it for 10.0.7. With the new zone we only have access to 8 out of the new 16 points so go get your hands on these. I do feel like they could have made them a bit more challenging to get or find as I'm sure people would enjoy that little challenge instead of your dragon just basically telling you where they are. I mean even the first ones at the start of the expansion were somewhat challenging to find or even get to for certain glyphs. But anyway now that we have our 8 new points we need to then decide what points you want to bang them in first. Personally I'll probably be sticking my first points in the talent on the right just for some passive extra vigor gain which I figure I'll benefit a lot more from at the moment than just being able to halt myself. But as soon as we have access to the Zaralek Cavern in the 10.1 patch we'll be able to go and farm the rest of them so we can go and complete our dragon riding tree and I will have another video for that. I do feel like Blizzard could have given us a bit more exciting talents for the dragon riding. There is endless things that they could implement with this new system and I do hope it's here to stay in future expansions but like with all new systems added there's going to be a few growing pains. For example I'm sure we'd all have loved if there was a talent or on use ability that just lets us hover in the sky so that we don't always have to land while we're AFK and get ganked by a bunch of mobs. But that being said, I can understand why they wouldn't want to add something like this, just so you don't have everyone AFKing at the top of the skybox and not actually seeing anybody out in the world. It is also unfortunate that our old mounts just never see any use anymore unless we enter old zones, so maybe at some point they'll figure out what they can do with that, because there are so many new cool mounts, especially in Dragonflight, that just don't see any use anymore. We obviously do get to customize our dragon riding mounts, which is a really fun aspect of this new system too, 
but I do feel like they could go absolutely ham with it and give us some new sick looking dragon customization. Like who wouldn't want fire or lightning pouring out of their dragon while they're flying through the dragon isles. And obviously we do have the new dragon riding skin coming in 10.1 but I will talk about that more in my 10.1 dragon riding glyph video. So if you like this video and it did help you out in getting your dragon riding glyphs ASAP then feel free to drop a like down below and also subscribe to your boy. And until next time I'll catch you guys later.